All right, you're probably gonna laugh and think this one's a joke today, but welcome back to the channel. Starting off with a video in our new building over here that's coming together very nicely with one of the weirdest vehicles you're probably gonna think we're gonna ever bring you. This is a 1989 Caprice Classic Estate Wagon. Yes, it is for sale. And we'll give you a little lesson on these in case we got a lot of younger generation watchers, but the ones that are from this generation can appreciate this car. So this is a, uh, from what we were told, we don't have the documents to back it up because the title had changed hands, but a one family owned car. We got it from the grandson, um, supposedly father or grandfather situation. But again, just gonna sell it as it's had a couple owners, but um, car's been repainted. Yes, it looks a little odd right here. Why is that? There's a plastic filler panel that goes right here and around the rear bumper that is gone. It just deteriorated and it is gone. The tires are in excellent shape. He just had some service work done. We did a fresh oil change and inspection. Now what's so cool about this? Well, if you follow us for our square bodies, this was the square body of station wagons. This was the Suburban, if you couldn't afford a Suburban or didn't want a four wheel drive. Very well loaded. I've driven this car quite a bit. It drives like a dream, goes down the road like a top. And if you're from this era, you'll remember your dad or grandpa having that console right there. I mean, that's just sitting there. Uh, you know, you can remove it, but that was in every grandpa's truck. That's where his cassette tapes were. Sometimes eight tracks and that's where he kept his change and his cup of coffee. This car does have an aftermarket radio. And lo and behold, when you turn the ignition on and start the car, well, check that out. Knock, oh, there we go. A little delayed reaction. Check out that antenna. Power antenna. And it works. The radio had to turn on. It's got a delay because it's aftermarket. And there she goes back away. So the other thing that will take you back in time, if you're from this era and driving this car, as soon as you get going about 30 to 50 miles an hour, you'll hear a little, 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 little crazy little ticking noise. It's not in the motor, it's the speedometer head. Why? Because it's cable driven. The cable needs to be pulled out and lubricated. Very typical to these in the square body trucks. Of course, on a square body, truck's too noisy, you can't hear it. On this, it's so damn quiet inside, you can. Back here, same deal. Filler panel's missing because it's plastic, it rotted away. Now here's a good one for you. Big old swing tailgate. What's this area back here for? Well, let me show you. One, pretty cool. Still has all the original stickers. But what is this? Other than a, now you gotta hit the other latch here but a rear facing seat. Yep, seat belts sit in the back, face the rear window, looking out the back. Pretty crazy. Big old storage area that's lockable and it's actually locked. What are these? Yep, don't see those very often. Ashtrays. That seat is pretty cool. If you never rode rear facing in a station wagon before, you don't know what you're missing. But this car will cruise down the highway at 70, 75, 80 miles an hour with the best of them. It floats down the road, runs amazing, small block V8 engine. Um, the paint's, you know, fair. Yeah, it's got some trash in it. It wasn't a million dollar paint job, but uh, this is crazy take you back in time. Classic Caprice station wagon. And this is the more updated version the estate wagon and that basically was just the power options but even the carpet's in good shape you can see where the floor mats have been so it didn't fade crazy the back's the same way you can see where the floor mats were for all those years but the upholstery is perfect the car is comfortable the car is one of the best rides you'll have we did do a safety inspection for virginia just to check everything over did an oil change Hubcap tool right there. 
lots of things that if you're not from this generation you don't understand even the stainless vent visors before they were plastic so sitting on hand cooked tires clean undercarriage I'm sure it could use a you know tune up or a couple gaskets because it did sit for a period of time he brought it to us to sell he was moving and uh, it's up for grabs so for uh, the price of what the tires and wheels on that truck or that truck or that truck or that truck over there what the tires and wheels alone cost you can buy this whole car that runs drives and operates and ready to go and while we're in the build quick view before uh, some final paint work is going to be done this week and this place is going to look like a whole new animal around here lots of equipment getting ready to come in be on display bought quite a few more excavators so stay tuned showroom number three making great progress and cool caprice classic wagon here up for grabs you're in the market. If not, hopefully learn something today. Davis Auto Sales and Davis Drives on YouTube.